what I'd love to do is teach you how to do some simple um, lymphatic massage techniques, self-massage techniques, so you are increasing the lymphatic circulation of your body. A couple principles to know before we begin. Number one, understand the drainage pattern of your body. So again, back to my chart. Mm -hmm. We're going to stimulate the right and left supraclavicular lymph nodes in the neck above the collarbone. Okay. We're going to massage the axillary lymph nodes at the armpit. So okay. if somebody had cancer on one side, what we're going to want to do is massage what we call the opposite. You know, this is the in indicator. This is the contraindicator. So we're going to, excuse me, this is the, yeah, we're going to simulate the opposite side where you did not have cancer first. Okay. We will also stimulate the lymph nodes on the side you had cancer. But we want to clear the, the side you didn't have cancer on first. Okay. We can reroute the fluid over to that side as okay. well as massaging the side you did have cancer in the armpits. Okay. You're also going to massage the inguinal nodes at the top of the thigh and just do light brush strokes down. So you do okay. brush strokes down and across, as well as into the armpit where you did have um, cancer. Okay. The side you had cancer, as well as deep breathing. That's number one, know your drainage pattern. Number two, remember this is a light touch. Yeah. It's sort of like most people are used to a vertical deep tissue. This is like a horizontal stroke. Like imagine you're massaging the, the, the foam on your cappuccino. Yes. And you're not getting down into the coffee, right? Yeah, yeah. Or if you're a mom or a dad and you have young babies and when they were crying, you would never massage them hard. You would always right. just be gentle and soft. Lightly. So oh, principles. I love that. The third principle, the, la the last one we'll discuss before we start, is we are not making circles. We're not going fast. We're actually trying to move the fluid in one direction towards the lymph nodes. If you've ever seen the way a caterpillar moves, it moves segment by segment. We're pushing the fluid towards the direction where your lymph nodes are located, right? If you're making a circle, you're just putting the fluid back where it began. Okay. Those three principles. So let's start. We always want to start, so find the little hollow above your collarbones. Okay. And it's a gentle stroke down. I do like a little J stroke here, a little out to the side, mm -hmm. and breathe with me. We know how beneficial breathing is. The other thing that's really inflammatory is stress. Mm. So as I try to tell people, don't stress about the stress, but it finds some mitigating, stress mitigating techniques. Deep breathing will calm the nervous system. So once we've sort of stimulated the right and left supraclavicular lymph nodes, I like to do a little brush stroke from my ear down because it's calming and that feels good. Helps move some of that lymph fluid from behind your ears down. And so many people have tension in the neck and shoulders. Some of that fluid from the arm does come back up to the neck. So I always like to tell people just do a little neck stretch from the ear to the shoulder and breathe. Come back and do the other side and breathe. You can repeat that and then do some shoulder lifts to really move out. Some people get frozen shoulders if they've had um, surgery. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to massage along the what I call the shirt collar zone from the back of the neck down. So place your hands on your shoulders, elbows straight, inhale, and then exhale, drop the elbows. <sighs> can, we, can we do this? Would you prefer to do this if someone had a shirt on on top of the shirt, Great is it question. better to do it on bare skin? Bare skin. Whenever we can, we're doing it on bare skin. Okay. So the next thing, now that we've sort of cleared the neck region, the next thing to do is to stimulate the axillary nodes under the armpit. Again, as much as you can, you could go skin on skin, get in, getting into that armpit. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you what it's like here. So you really put that hand flat of your palm, right into that armpit, relax the shoulder, and go up. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I want your shoulder relaxed, but here's what it looks like. I'm going straight up. Mm -hmm. Again, this is not the side you had cancer on. I'm going to do the opposite side first, going straight up. Then I like to go a little further down the side boob, or the side torso, I like to call it, 
and I make like a C stroke up into that armpit. And again, I'm not fingertippy. I'm not digging in. It's with the palm of my hand. Okay. And then going straight up. Then you want to massage above the breast on that opposite side. You want to clear that whole region to accept that fluid. So this is like a rainbow stroke, right? It's like an upside down C. You can go in bit skin on skin contact here. Um, as you're doing this, remember it's gentle. We're going to eventually massage places where you may have radiated skin and the skin might be a little sensitive, so be light. Now that you've cleared above that arm, that above that breast, you can massage underneath the breast. You don't want to move the fluid towards the nipple. You want to move it away from the nipple towards that armpit. So moving okay. under the breast towards that armpit. I like to do about three lines of that. Right in the center of your chest, you can do a little tapping. This is where the thymus is located. The thymus, the spleen, the tonsils, adenoids, appendix, bone marrow, these are lymphoid organs. Okay, these are organs where a lot of lymph tissue resides. The next thing you're going to do is place your hand directly over your chest, and it's a very calming stroke. It's a rainbow stroke. Stationary, half moon, and breathe. The thymus is the organ that was responsible for maturing cancer-fighting T-cells. Wow. By our age, they've already done their work, but I just love to give it a little love along the center of the chest. Now that we've cleared that opposite armpit, we're going to place our hand along the, above the breast where you may have had cancer. If it is sensitive, if you've had radiation, go very light. And then you're going to be massaging it, rerouting it to the opposite armpit. Very light. What I, I love the caterpillar analogy you gave for this movement. I love. It's exactly what I'm thinking of. Right. Look it up. I remember seeing a caterpillar in my backyard. I'm like, that's it. Yeah. That's yeah. I love that. It. Yeah. Um, what I want people to come away with is being touching themselves in a nice, light, nourishing way. So we're not used to touching ourselves. But touch is used in nearly every culture for health. There are so many studies done for the benefits of touching. So many people have been scared, and the only time they touch their breasts is when they're looking for a lump. Yeah. And there's some PTSD there, so I understand that. Now that you've cleared that, we're going to massage the armpit on that side. So just like you did before, placing your hand here. There are, they probably didn't remove all your lymph nodes. So you still want to stimulate what you have because recent imaging has shown that lymph fluid still wants to go in the direction of the armpits. So we do it all. We're going to reroute and we're going to stimulate that armpit. So grab it, go a little lower on the torso now and move that body up. Move that fluid up, excuse me, along the body to the armpit. And then I always like to... Stimulate the axillary nodes again. Then that breast, you can also go underneath towards that armpit. Same thing. Again, light. I love doing this when I'm lying down. It's a little bit easier. Than oh, yeah. Down, right? Yeah. I'm usually lying on the couch watching TV, to be honest yeah. with you. It's when, <laughs> it's when I'm doing that. So you'll be rerouting. And then the last thing you're going to do is move that fluid, brush strokes, down to the top of the thigh on that same side and you stimulate the top of your thigh by placing your hand on the top of that thigh without clothes on mm -hmm. lift the leg then you'll know that you're in the right place in that thigh crease mm -hmm. and then the action is a massage on the top of the thigh now for people who do have lymphedema i have a sequence in my master class and on the book of how to also massage your arm Right? Oh, okay. So if you just want to do some brush strokes for today, up the, the lymph circulation, the lymph pathway on the outer arm goes up to the top of the shoulder, to the neck, the supraclavicular lymph nodes. Then on the inside of the arm, it goes up to the axillary nodes. So what oh. you can do here, you can do your <clears throat> C strokes, those half moon strokes, skin on skin contact 
towards the armpit, you can stimulate the axillary nodes and you can also take it over across the chest. Okay. Also take it down. There are lymph nodes in the elbow crease that you can massage and then you massage from the hand down. If people get lymph, if they wake up with swelling in their hand, you can massage the hand. I also love massaging the fingers. Wow. Each one Everything. In so all yeah. the way up. And then deep diaphragmatic breathing in your stomach, last thing. So you want to inhale, expand your stomach, exhale, release. Inhale, push the belly out, exhale, release. One more time. And release. Wow. And then tell me right in the chat, you've been following along, how you yeah. feel. Yeah, how you feel. We did have... We did have a great question, Lisa, yeah. about if a person had both breasts removed, if they've if they great had question. cancer in both, yes. where do they start? Not that. So if you've had bilateral cancer or bilateral mastectomies or lymph nodes removed on both sides, um, the way to do it, again, you can still stimulate each side. You can move towards the lymph nodes on each side, but you want to come down the sides to the inguinal nodes on both sides and massage the inguinal nodes on both sides. So you're rerouting that fluid by coming down to the inguinal nodes and you're also simulating going to each individual side. Okay. And you're working the lymph nodes, the supraclavicular lymph nodes at the neck. Like we said in the beginning, lymph is systemic. So anytime you do any type of lymph massage, you're activating and increasing the lymph circulation in the body. Okay. Oh, good to know. And drink plenty of water. That's the other thing I forgot to say. Drink what your water. Okay. Hydration is, I mean, it's so good for so many things. I love that. Especially lymph. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if someone has a port, uh, is yeah. it okay? Do they massage over it? Do they go around I it? Do, I do try to stay a, away from the port when I'm working. I do. Okay. So, be, you know, it, it keep the port intact. You can sort of go around it, you know, and then when that port is removed, um, if there is a little bit of a scar tissue there later, you can work on that scar tissue. But yes, be sensitive, work around the port, don't go over the port. Great.